We're going to look at a couple of exercises from section 3.2, which primarily deals with negations of quantified statements. And this exercise says write a formal negation for each of the following statements. Part A says for all fish x, x has gills. Okay, so remember when we write our negation, that universal quantifier is going to become an existential quantifier. And we're going to end up with there exists a fish x such that x does not have gills. And if we think about what those two things are saying informally, it might help to uh, convince you why this makes sense of the negation. Because the original is really just saying all fish have gills. The negation of that is saying, no, there is a fish that does not have gills. Okay, that's all there is to that. Um, but we're writing these formally, so um, we're not uh, we're not stating it in uh, that informal way that I just did. Part B says, for all computers C, C is a CPU. So this is going to work very similarly to part A. We get our answer of there exists a computer C such that C does not have a CPU. All right, part C, we begin with an existential statement. There exists a movie M such that M is over six hours long. One thing I want to note before I get to the answer here, note that within that statement, we've really got an inequality there because it says M is over six hours long. So the length of that film is greater than six. So when we negate that, we just want to be careful that our negation is going to involve less than or equal to six. And however we uh, want to say that, uh, but we do need to be careful about the wording so that we're correctly capturing that negation that we're looking for. So here's how I wrote it. For all movies M, M is at most six hours long. Okay, so that's fine because at most means six or less. At most six means six or less. So um, part D also involves an inequality because it says there exists a band B such that B has won at least 10 Grammy Awards. Okay, so 10 or more. So in our negation, we want to make sure we're saying in one way or another, we want to say less than 10. So uh, for all bands B, B has not won at least 10 Grammy Awards. So that's a perfectly fine way to, to handle that. So if we start with at least 10, we can say not at least 10. Okay. Um, or we could say B has won fewer than 10 Grammy Awards. That would be fine too. All right, let's look at exercise 21. It's also asking us to write a negation. The given statement here is a little more complicated for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, it's a universal conditional statement. So we've got that if then, and we know that can uh, always pose some problems for negations because we wanna remember that the negation will not be a conditional statement. Um, the other complication here is that the then part of this conditional involves that word and. So we've got a conjunction within the conditional. And so when we write the negation of this, we want to have De Morgan's laws in mind because that tells us how to negate a conjunction or a disjunction, but in this case, conjunction. Um, so in other words, it, it allows us to deal with uh, negations of involving and and negations involving or. Okay, so let's just get right to the negation. The negation will say there exists an integer n such that n is divisible by six and either n is not divisible by 2, or n is not divisible by 3. So notice if we focus on the and part of the original, that became an or, but we're negating uh, 
the n is divisible by 2 part and the n is divisible by 3 part as well. Um, so a little bit more complicated of an example than we saw in exercise 3. Um, but again, this whole section is focused on negation, so we want to see a variety of uh, examples. And I hope you found those examples helpful. I'll see you in the next video.